What's up YouTube? This is a video about the Raspberry Pi 5, which is this one here. Uh, I bought this almost two months ago and the idea was uh, I wanted to have a quick um, setup or a PC so that I can do quick tasks such as respond to emails or uh, maybe even use it like my uh, Intel compute stick uh, here, which is basically looks something like this um, it's a small tiny computer that I stuck to the back of this monitor and I actually use it to monitor uh, stats so that was the idea and so what I did with this is I I actually I modded it up so I put every possible accessory that I can think of on it and this is what they look like basically uh, let's start with this this is the case uh, which is a case from geek pie it's a fantastic case but without its uh, issues because uh, it looks like with the case on the raspberry pi struggles to pick up a good signal so it's always buffering it's always um, struggling with signal despite this one here with the intel compute stick doing absolutely just fine um, so the case and then we got uh, so this is the Raspberry Pi itself. This is the 8 GB uh, edition. And then we got the original charger because what tends to happen with the Raspberry Pi, if you don't get the original charger uh, and you actually just use one of these power stations to power it up, you will actually get a warning message somewhere, somewhere here that tells you uh, it's running low on power or something. So it needs to dial down the performance so i had to get one of these uh, surprise surprise it did not change anything in the performance and then uh, i believe this is the camera it's just uh, one of those uh, cameras from aliexpress uh, it looks like this and it's actually a night vision one so it's got an ir blaster on each side in case i wanted to use it as a security camera and uh I'm not I don't have the box for it but I actually also got the uh, the NVMe hat which comes uh, it's the same company it's made by the same company as this which is I believe it's called oh I believe it's called the geek pie um, the geek pie something if I'm not mistaken I'll leave a link in the description for all of them but uh, basically what it allowed me to do the it's called the NVMe hat it allowed me to add one of these this is not the actual one, this is a 4 terabyte one, but it's almost, it's a very similar one to this. And you can actually see it through the case here. Uh, and this is, I would say, maybe 15 times faster than the performance you would get from uh, just using an SD card. So, what is the result of all of this? What is the result of actually getting the uh, Pi 5, which is advertised to be two and a half times more powerful than the previous edition, the Geek Pi 4 with the Raspberry Pi 4 um, and an NVMe and the original charger. The performance is garbage. It's absolutely garbage. Uh, I can't use this in its current configuration and I have to resort to either using my laptop or uh, my uh, 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 Intel compute stick. And there are several reasons for that. One of them is the GPU. Let's say, for example, I just want to watch or I just want to use this to watch a YouTube video. Look at this. Look at how many drop frames. And this is running, I believe it's running at, let me see if I can do it. Yeah, it's running at 480p and it still has dropped frames. Uh, this is absolute garbage. Uh, uh, what I figured out at, at first, I thought, you know, maybe I was doing something wrong. Turns out that the GPU on this thing is garbage. It's nowhere near that of Intel or AMD, despite actually using the Raspbian, which is the uh, the original Linux-based software. This is what uh, Raspberry Pi would recommend you to use, and it's still absolutely no good. Um, and, and one thing I've actually noticed is uh, this is very annoying, and what, that's why it makes this very unusable. I even tried to put the taskbar on the bottom here. I try to make it as Windows-like as possible. You'll see that once you actually start using it, you see the mouse cursor here. Um, 
you can't tell by just looking at it but there's just an ever so slight delay in the input it's never precise so let's say for example if i want to press here you know i always struggle it's never a straightforward thing where i just pick what i want and i always have to hover over it for a second just to get it right um, so it's not exactly the most friendly or the most responsive uh, operating uh, system uh, uh, so yeah it's just i think overall uh, this 2016 intel compute stick is miles and miles ahead of this even if this is a 4 gb and this is an 8 gb i still get the only limitation i get with this one is the actual memory so let's say for example if i wanted to run a video here i just need to make sure that nothing else is running in the background and it works absolutely flawless i can go as much as 4k and it can still handle it uh with this one here as you can see i showed you it struggles with uh, with 480 you still have 60 dropped frames if i tried it on the intel compute stick i barely get one or two uh, and that's just usually in the beginning and then you know it fixes itself as it goes so is it worth uh getting one is it worth getting one of these uh, uh raspberry pi computers i think depending on what you want to do it's uh it might vary if you want to use it as a security camera this is definitely a a uh, uh especially if you get a 4k camera this is a 1080p uh, if you get a 4k uh, camera and you place it somewhere uh, with an ethernet cable um, you know it might be an amazing it's it's a very powerful camera but as an operating system uh, not really it may be if you want to integrate it into like some kind of uh, some kind of robotics uh, um, project um, could be maybe uh, but as a computer that you can daily drive to do quick ta quick tasks it's really not worth it especially because you might be tempted because they have this whole suite called libra where it's very similar to microsoft excel where they have let me actually see if i can show you yeah there you go they have uh libra office space libra office cal libra office whatever so it's it it almost works exactly like an excel so you'd be tempted to think that okay this is a this is a good one this is a good uh you know it's a good uh replacement or an alternative to microsoft but it's 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 not i mean the 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 suite itself it just it's just fine it's just the the whole experience as a whole is really uh not that uh not that nice so there you have it i'm not sure to be honest if i'm going to be if i'm going to be posting a video or not on the subject of the raspberry pi i'm a little bit disappointed because you know you think that all these reviewers are telling us the truth um uh, but <laughs> i'm not sure what's going on but yeah this is the raspberry pi 5 buy it at your own risk uh it's is it more powerful than the previous generation well i have never tried the previous generation so i can't really judge it but from what i'm seeing here uh it's it's a tough sell you know it's a tough sell i mean if i knew what i was getting myself into i would have probably and and truthfully speaking if i had the chance to return this because what happened is i bought it and i kept it for some time before i even started using it by that time the the return window was over so if i had the opportunity i would have probably just returned it um, because it's just it's not for me at least i might be using or at least this is my opinion for now i might end up using it for different projects you know different uh maybe for something else in the future but for now uh it's really not doing anything uh, apart from just sitting i just put it somewhere here you know and it's just sitting there and i end up either using you know i've got uh, my personal laptop or I just use my editing computer here uh, and it's just you know that's it I don't use it it just sits there so there you have it uh, the Raspberry Pi 5 uh, sorry if I ramble too much uh, I was just trying to give you as many information as I can uh, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it useful thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one peace